What's up everyone, in this week's video I'm finally going to show you guys all the updates on all my ecospheres and the projects I still have going on. I know if you've been waiting for it for a long time, but well here it is. And as you've probably read in the title, I have a little surprise for you guys also. So let's go into the video. Here are the two ecospheres, one with the shrimp and one with an offspring of Sheldon the snail. Let's first go ahead and show that the snail is still alive. There he is, just vibing. And the tank is a little small for the plant. Because, because as you can see it's completely overgrown with it. But yeah, the plant seems pretty fine for now. So that's a lot of soil but not a lot of space in the water. And then here where the blue shrimp is. Is it still alive or not? That's a question. And yes, it is. There between the grassy plants, you can see its head. Let's see if it wants to move for us. Hello. Okay, it does not really want to move, but I see it swimming around sometimes. And every morning it's on another place. And as you can see, the grassy plants are a little bit higher. They're growing. And this ecosphere is also doing very well. It's been closed for three months now. Then here look at my Monstera. Still growing towards the light. A lot bigger since the first time I got it. There's another new leaf even this late in the season. Still developing. As well as a small Monstera here. Also has a shoot going down. It's also new. Then over here my Alocasia is well still has one leaf, so not that yet. This Alocasa Zebrina also doing very well growing, as well as that one. Look at how high it is. At the beginning, like in April, it was about here, I think. And I also did something with an avocado seed, and well, it is a success because the roots are going down and I already have a beginning of a leaf here. This terrarium is also doing very well. The begonia is already growing outside of it and I like it like that, I actually pushed it in that direction so it has some room to grow. I hope this one will also grow towards the end, there will maybe like hang down here, that would be nice. And then this guy is also doing very well, my most precious plant, the most expensive one by far. I know it's small but it was a lot smaller. It's a uh, white princess philodendron. And then you guys, the moment you've all been waiting for is our salamander spyro still alive. Well, I'm very sad to inform you guys. I haven't seen it for like one to two weeks. And I also can't really find the body. So I'm actually not sure. It could be a coincidence that I haven't seen it. But it also could mean it's dead. A positive note is the Sheldons, or snails, are still alive. I put the two of them inside, there, and there, and they're still doing fine, and there's also little ones everywhere. The plants, that one there is completely eaten up by the snails, they really seem to love it. It's crazy, they just ate everything. The other plants are doing well, this one a little bigger. This one in the moss ball also looks a lot better, like much greener. And then these tall ones are even growing out of the water. But yes, Spyro guys, we have to assume the worst, that he sadly passed away. I don't know for what reason, we've seen Spyro like a few weeks after that the ecosphere was closed, so... Also there's like hundreds of these tiny, tiny little things swimming around. I see one right here. Okay guys, here you can see them very well. Two new shrimps to add to the collection. I figured because the blue shrimp is still alive after several months in the smaller ecosphere. And this ecosphere has twice the amount of water and plant life. I should be able to put two shrimps inside. I know there are also snails in it which use up the oxygen and everything. But that's also the case for that one. Let's add them to their new environment. And yes, this means I sadly have to open the ecosphere. 
Here I have my little bin with water plants and my floating plants. I also have my banana plant here because in the other rooms it's too cold. This one has grown so well. So I have to make sure to not pour the shrimp in. They're both still in. Let's quickly pour them in. Gently. I managed to put both of them inside. There you can see one swimming around. I hope it's fine. It was probably pretty stressful. And the other one, the glass distorts the image a little bit. Here is a better angle. They love to hang out on these moss balls. As you can see it also grew the moss ball. So guys we have our new ecosphere. Spyro sadly has probably passed away for unknown reasons. But we have two new inhabitants. So if you have any name suggestions you can always leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you like my videos and want to see more updates like this. And see you next time.